Well, I don't know why I keep choosing water. Uh, and I don't know how to really um, answer that question. I know that I like water very much and I know why I like it. I started using it when I was very young and I kept using it in different ways. And then in 2004 in the Athens Olympics, I even flooded the whole stadium with water. And now I'm staging ink with this permanent rain of water. I have no explanation about it, but I like how it reflects light. Uh, I like very much how it sounds. I like the way that it behaves with gravity and I like the way that it transforms everything when everything is sprayed or soaked in water. Um, this uh, sparkling skin charms me a lot. Suka was the youngest one that I chose to participate in transverse orientation. Transverse orientation started and then uh, the COVID lockdown. And Suka remained in Athens and his house was next to mine. So we exercised together and we did the, we spent the whole lockdown together. We realized that there is a connection and there is a, it's a nice thing to be together. Uh, during the lockdown, I had this um, proposition from uh, Italy and that's exactly when we created Inc. We thought, since we are having fun working working together, why not create a piece together? Then, transverse orientation opened up and we toured the world for two years and Suka got better and better because the more we work. And now that we are coming back to Inc, the collaboration relationship is um, at its uh, absolute maturity. I am surprised to see me performing <laughs> as well at my age. It is something that gives me pleasure. It is probably the last time that I will be able to do that. Uh, this work uh, surprisingly became a very personal work, a deeply personal work, and also surprisingly a very dark work. I enjoy very much doing it on stage. And you know, it is the first time for me that I can participate in my work now that my audience has expanded throughout the whole world. So I am myself also performing in a big tour because I had stopped performing just at the moment that uh, the world discovered me and I started traveling extensively. So in a way I was also jealous of my performers that they have the chance to expose their talents in the whole world and I was uh, not. And now I am, you know, uh, <laughs> I am giving myself this last chance. Yes, it's very different for me. I dare uh, some more dangerous things when I am on stage. I did that on Primal Matter and I'm doing that on Ink as well. I take more risks, rhythmical risks, and uh, somehow do not protect myself as much as I protect my performers when I am outside. And uh, I try to incorporate in the show elements that usually when I'm outside I do not. Like more psychological elements, more violent elements, and some parts that are more inexplicable as transitions and actions. I am a little bit more liberated when I am going to do them, to include them into the show. Well, as a matter of fact, I wanted to be part of transverse orientation and because of COVID and I removed myself from transverse orientation because I was participating in Inc. And I think this was a very, very happy coincidence because I think transverse orientation became better without me and, uh, and I have a new work like Inc. I do not choose. The commission was, why don't you do something yourself if you want with somebody else? That's what they asked for me. And I said, okay, let, let me try. So being in it was one of the requirements of the suggestion. After uh, 15 days with Suka, we realized that we had something. So we said, okay, we're going to do it. And we tried it.